Very good morning, students. Here we are again with our chapter tense in a due form. As you know that in our last class we have uh, completed uh, the some points of in present indefinite tense. The first point was for regular habitual action, and we discussed about uh, that point a uh, lot. And the point number second was uh, for universal truth in that in that uh, Niemeyer formula. We discussed about some example like uh, the Ganges uh, springs from the Himalaya. Two and two makes four. Uh, Uh, water boils at uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, like that. And uh, in that, in those example, we discuss about that. That all, the, those example of uh, universal truth uh, proceed only with uh, present indefinite tense. So let's have the next point. It's point number rule number four of the same tense, present indefinite tense. The same tense we are having right now, present indefinite tense. Just we did in our last class uh, of uh, the same. For fixed program in near future. The next rule for the present indefinite tense, the most important rules for Niemeyer that are uh, used in present indefinite tense. The next number four is uh, for fixed program in near future. Ki we discuss about it, but I'm repeating these two points for your revision. For fixed program in near future. Ki agar near future mein koi fixed program hai, if there is any fixed program, if there is any fixed program in near future, then we'll use only present indefinite tense instead of future indefinite tense. Suppose to be example number first again out. My father retires next week. मेरे पिता मेरे फादर जो है नेक्स्ट वीक रिटायर होंगे मेरे पिता मेरे फादर जो है नेक्स्ट वीक जो है रिटायर होंगे फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्शन यू शुड यूज ओनली प्रेजेंट इंडेफिनेट टेंस इंस्टेड ऑफ फ्यूचर इंडेफिनेट टेंस फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू राइट दिस सेंटेंस माय फादर विल रिटायर नेक्स्ट वीक बट यूर 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 फादर विल रिटायर नेक्स्ट वीक डेफिनेटली If your father will retire next week, definitely. If the program of retirement is fixed, then you should use. Then you have to use only present indefinite tense instead of future indefinite tense. Okay? If the program is fixed and the program is in near future, then you should use. You must use only present indefinite tense. The program and the action of retirement is always fixed. You know that. Example number four: My father retires next week. मेरे father जो है next week retire होंगे कल इस सप्ताह retire होंगे. तो ये प्रोग्राम यहाँ पर फिक्स्ड है रिटायरमेंट का दिस वाई आई हैव यूज्ड एंड विल यूज प्रेजेंट इंडेफिनेट टेंस इफ द सेंटेंस इज अफर्मेटिव देन यू गो यू विल गो विथ एस एन ई एस विथ फर्स्ट फॉर्म एग्जांपल नंबर सेकंड चेक इट आउट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर विजिट्स जयपुर टुमारो के जो प्रधानमंत्री हैं वो कल जयपुर में घूमने के लिए आएंगे लेकिन द प्रोग्राम ऑफ आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ आर सर्टिन प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज रिली फिक्स If the fix, if uh, the program of prime minister is fixed, then we'll again proceed with present indefinite tense instead of future indefinite tense. Grammatically, you can say that prime minister will visit uh, tomorrow. There is no problem. But as per the norms of grammar of the English language, you should use only present indefinite tense in those actions. With those action, uh, those are fixed in nature and near in future. The prime minister visits uh, Jaipur tomorrow. The verb, the adverb I have used here next week. tomorrow okay then month of july next morning these kind of adverbs are uh, actually i have mentioned on ply board basically these adverbs are used in future indefinite tense okay or these actions basically are uh, symbolizes or denotes future action but still i have mentioned only present indefinite tense in these example it means that those action which are fixed will proceed with the uh, future present indefinite tense uh, surely So example number second the prime minister visits the jaipur tomorrow because the program of prime minister is fixed that's why i have mentioned here only present indefinite tense visits instead of will visit example number third our school reopens in the month of july and the uh, actually the action of reopening of school is all, is is also fixed so we should also use in this kind of action uh, present indefinite tense instead of future indefinite like our school will open uh, instead of this action we should use only present indefinite tense like i mentioned again uh, in the month of july our school reopens in the month of july our school uh, reopens in the month of july she goes to mount abu next week she goes to mount abu next week goes uh, to mount abu next week she goes to mount abu next week ki bhi agle saptah jo hai mount abu jayegi and the action or the program of that lady or that girl is really fixed that's why i have used goes it's not helping verb it's not helping verb it's not a helping verb it's your main verb okay with go okay i use es because the last letter of go is o 
okay o s h c h x z if the letters if the if the last letter is like that then we use e s instead of s okay i have mentioned e s in present indefinite tense you can see that it's not your helping verb just as i have mentioned in table number first in present indefinite tense that the helping verbs of present indefinite tense is only the helping verbs are go go the helping verbs are like uh, a do and does like that it is not helping verb so it's a main verb the helping verbs are do and does but it's your main verb not the helping verb okay it's it's a goes it's not does so it's all about your uh, for fixed program in your future students so i think you uh, you understand very well uh, where should we use basically present indefinite tense uh, or where should where should we use future indefinite tense exactly maybe the adverbs are of future tense but if the program is fixed and you know of near future near future like uh, next day next morning next week next month up to next month in that kind of uh, you know situation or conditions you can use easily present indefinite tense without any hesitation rule number 5 in open condition in english language we have three kind of condition the first one is open condition in english language we have three condition the first one is open condition the second one is imaginary or uh, or unreal condition and the third one is uh, unfulfilled condition in these three conditions we have different rules set of formulas set of principles but if he speaks about only present indefinite tense then we'll use only we'll use uh, if he speaks about uh, open condition then we'll use only present indefinite tense because there is a certain niyam or formula behind the reason behind that you can see that in open condition now we have subordinate clause and main clause these two clauses are reversible in nature in open condition you have to mention two clauses like uh, if when we'll have a clause chapter as per our syllabus we'll discuss about this condition a lot but right now we are having only present indefinite tense in open condition so let's check it out the open condition now okay only open condition now in open condition in open condition the subordinate clause subordinate clause be dependent one which is dependent on the main one main clause okay we'll have two sentences which is joined by conjunction here or the conjunction may comes between the sentences or it may come before the sentences it depend upon uh, where you are writing your clause exactly okay the main one or the principle or main one principal one or the subordinate one subordinate clause main clause just forget about these kind of you know heavy principles but just ye dhyan rakho ke bola ab yahan pe in subordinate clause like if unless when in subordinate clause we'll uh, see the conjunction like if unless when of which subordinate clause open condition in open condition khuli shart wala vakya hai in two sentences which are of open condition khuli shart wala vakya hai khuli shart wala vakya open condition hai if you do this you will become like that if you don't do this you will not able to do this agar aap aisa karte hain to aisa hoga अगर आप ऐसा नहीं करते हैं तो ऐसा नहीं होगा कंडीशन अगर ऐसा करते हैं तो वो जब ऐसा करता है वो जब आएगा तो ऐसा होगा अगर तुम नहीं करते हो तो नहीं होगा इस इस तरह की कंडीशन दिस कैन ऑफ कंडीशन आर बेसिकली आर काउंट इन ऑपन कंडीशन ऑफ कंडीशनल सेंटेंसेस ओके चेक इट आउट सब ऑर्डिनेट क्लोज लाइक विल एड और यूज कंजक्शन लाइक इफ अनलेस इन वैन इफ अनलेस इन वैन on in main clause we'll use uh, only will and shall plus first form this is the formula where you need to emphasize basically in indefinite tense uh, in open condition the subordinate clause will proceed with the conjunction like if unless and when and the main clause will proceed with the with the helping verb with the main verb like will shall and first form that's the main niyam or formula you need to emphasize uh, basically बस यही फोकस करना है बाकी सब इतना ना करोगे इतना इतना फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा वाई यूर राइटिंग योर आर्टिकल रिपोर्ट राइटिंग फैक्चुअल डिस्क्रिप्शन एनीथिंग इज वी आर यूजिंग बेसिकली योर ओपन कंडीशन जस्ट नो अबाउट फर्स्ट फॉर्म इन फर्स्ट फॉर्म इथ एस एन ईयर इन सबॉर्डिंग एट वन एंड द विल एंड शेल प्लस फर्स्ट फॉर्म इन इन योर मेन क्लोज दैट्स इट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल and i i told you before that uh, it is reversible you can mention the main clause before subordinate one and you can write down subordinate one before after main clause but don't forget that if you are writing your subordinate clause before your main clause you have to mention comma like i mentioned here comma comma and commas okay if you are writing your subordinate clause before your main clause you have to mention you should mention comma before your main clause but if you are not writing your subordinate one before main one then you should mention the main and go through with your conjunction and write your sentence on main clause there is no problem 
okay we'll explain and we'll clarify uh, this given formula with the help of the given example let's check it out if she runs fast if she runs fast agar vah tez daudti hai if she runs fast i told you that if subordinate one runs first form or first with s n e s because subject is singular she so we'll add s here runs okay if she runs fast she will win the race agar vah tez daudti hai to vah race jeet jayegi if she runs fast she will win the race agar vah tez daudti hai to race jeet jayegi again you can see that main clause will and shall plus first form will you shall will you shall okay with i and uh, v only will you shall with i and v only is that clear will you shall with i and v only and is and uh, instead of these two basically uh, uh, pronounce uh, will not you shall at all will use will where there is he she it you they will use will for example she will i shall she will if she runs fast she will win the race agar vah tez daudti hai to race jeet jayegi condition hai tez daudne ki okay the condition is she has to run fast she runs if she runs fast if it rains here agar yahan barish hoti hai i shall stay i shall stay main rukunga main rukunga but the condition is that the rain should be here barish yahan honi chahiye okay if it rains here i shall stay main rukunga unless she works hard unless she works hard she will not become a doctor unless always proceed with the negative sign like not jab tak the meaning of unless is jab tak unless she works hard she will not become a doctor ki jab tak wo mehnat nahi karti hai wah doctor nahi banegi she will not become a doctor she will not become a doctor you can have more one more example which is quite difficult in translation the same condition you can have one more example students you can have one more example like of your open condition example number 4 when he comes here he will help you okay this example basically basically is uh, you know kafi puzzled in the in translation basically because uh, if he comes here as per the condition of subordinate one and main clause we have mentioned the verbs like he first form with s n e s okay because of uh, singular subject we have he plus uh, will everything is right there is no problem when he comes here jab wo yahan par aata hai jab wo yahan par aata hai he will help you wo tumhari sahayata karega but looking little bit you know odd and so so puzzle in the translation so translation of do sentences that starts with when will be will be of future in nature like that when he comes here jab wo yahan pe aata hai instead of this translation we will use jab wo yahan par aayega he will help you tumhari sahayata karega is quite typical one but you have to go through with the future one translation jab ye yahan par aayega tumhari sahayata karega not when he will come here when he will come here okay the sentence will look like the interrogative one okay may i know that i have basically i i have mentioned the helping me before after your subject but it look like the interrogative one so you have to go through with the translation the future one jab ye yahan par aayega to tumhari sahayata karega but still we have the conjunction or the or basically uh, uh, conjunction of uh, your open condition or the subordinate one is it clear it's all about your rule number 4 and 5 the rule number 4 speaks about speaks about if the program is fixed in near future you have to move with the present indefinite tense in rule number 5 speak about in open condition you should use the present indefinite tense as per the given conditions of formula okay so let's have the next one so students let's have your next point for the same series of present indefinite tense with rule number 6 we have right now rule number 6 in exclamatory sentence that starts with here and there 
in exclamatory sentence that starts with here and there so those exclamatory sentence that starts with here and there the first we should know was the meaning and definition of exclamatory sentence we should know about it exclamatory sentence basically a sentence that speaks about our sudden feelings and emotion a sentence that that speaks about our sudden feelings and emotion is known as exclamatory sentence i repeat the sentence definition of sentence again a sentence that speaks about our sudden feelings and emotion sudden feelings and emotions is known as exclamatory sentence is known as exclamatory sentence so those exclamatory sentence that starts with here and there will use present indefinite tense in those exclamatory sentence that starts with here and there let's have here comes the bus here comes the bus if you are uh, basically waiting for the bus with your mother and with your luggage but you have a notice the bus has come exactly and when you will notice the bus you will say here comes the bus mama here comes the bus okay in that kind of emotion you have to use only present indefinite tense you will not say that here come here here uh, the here the bus is coming you cannot say here comes the bus mama if you will notice the bus or the arrival of the bus in a sudden movement then you have to notice you have to write down present indefinite tense in those exclamatory sentences that starts with here and there here comes the bus there goes the bus there goes the bus okay so those sentences that start with here and there in exclamatory sentence you have to mention only present indefinite one with first form or first form with s and es don't forget that we should use only we can use only the rule of s and es or the first form in affirmative sentence only the same uh, i cleared to all of you in our last class you know that in table number first as well as the those the, the same page that i started on present indefinite one so here and there exclamatory sentence that shows us certain feelings and emotion comes here comes the bus there goes the bus there goes the bus rule number 7 rule number 7 to make the passive in life to make the passive in life is it possible that we can make the passive in life is it possible that we can jivan or we can lie those events that are really passive in nature for example uh, the scene of uh, bharat milav the the exactly uh, you know uh, the the war of uh, uh, panipat like that okay like uh, the french revolution the russian revolution is it possible that we can like these kind of uh, past events that were occur in past exactly no it's not possible but it is possible in present indefinite tense but we can make the life we can make life those events that are past in real with the help of present indefinite tense it's a rule it's a formula to make the past event lives पास की जो भी सारी घटनाएं हैं उनको लाइव करने के लिए जिंदा करने के लिए वापस प्रेजेंट इंटरफिनेट एंस हम लोग यूज करते हैं इट इज वेरी पैकुलर टू हेयर बट इट्स रियल एंड इट्स अ रूल ऑफ ग्रामर टू मेक द पास इवेंट्स लाइव वी शुड यूज वी मस्ट यूज ऑनली प्रेजेंट इंटरफिनेट एंस फॉर एग्जांपल एट लास्ट लॉर्ड रामा किल्स रावणा इन इंग्लिश वी कैन से रामा लक्ष्मणा Ravana, but you can mention Lord Ram, Lord Raman. It's easy going. It's a practically approved grammatically. Okay, there is no problem. At last, Lord Ram kills Ravan. आखिर में भगवान राम जो है रावण को मार देते हैं, मार देते हैं. Kills Ravan. Is it possible? मार देते हैं. Yeah, when we are reading a Ramayana, or when we are watching basically a Ramayan on television, we'll say. We can don't we say like that? The Ram, who is the God, Ram, who is the end, is the one who kills Ravan. Okay? When we when we speak about the epic, epic means to say Mahakavya, like Ramayana, Mahabharata, like we have the the Homer Iliad, we have. Okay? Like like these kind of epic, basically. Okay? Uh, if uh, we are making the events of these epics or these past events live, we should use only present indefinite tense, like. At last, Lord Ram kills Ravan. आखिर में भगवान राम जो है रावण को मार देते हैं ओके हालांकि रियलिटी क्या है लॉर्ड रामा किल्ड लॉर्ड रामा किल्ड रावण या रावणा इज क्लियर लॉर्ड रामा किल्ड मारा था ओके द एक्शन इज ऑफ पास्ट दैट अकर्ड इन पास्ट बट टू मेक द एक्शन लाइव we should use we must use only present in definite tense okay example number first at last lord ram kills ravan 
आखिर में लॉर्ड राम रावण को मार देते हैं ओके तो वी कैन से एट लास्ट इन दिस एपिक एट लास्ट एट लास्ट एज पर द स्टोरी ऑफ रामायणा लॉर्ड रामा किल्स रावण लॉर्ड रामा किल्स रावणा वी कैन से दैट एट लास्ट इन द बैटल फील्ड एट लास्ट इन द बैटल फील्ड द मीनिंग ऑफ बैटल फील्ड ओके इज युद्ध भूमि एट लास्ट इन द बैटल फील्ड महाराणा प्रताप किल्स हिज एनिमीज एनिमीज दुश्मन किल्स अगेन आई हैव यूज प्रेजेंट इन दिलिट इज किल्स फर्स्ट फॉर्म विथ एस आई हैव यूज फर्स्ट फॉर्म प्लस एस किल्स आई हैव यूज यर फर्स्ट फॉर्म विथ एस एट लास्ट इन बैटल इन द बैटल फील्ड महाराणा प्रताप किल्स हिज एनिमीज और आखिर में महाराणा प्रताप जो है युद्ध भूमि में अपने दुश्मनों को मार देते हैं मार देते हैं हालांकि he killed his enemies in the battlefield. उन्होंने मारा था but to make that event live, we should use only present indefinite tense. We can only, we have no other option. So at last in the battlefield, महाराणा प्रताप के जैसे enemies आखिर में युद्ध भूमि में महाराणा प्रताप अपने दुश्मनों को मार देते हैं Okay? Let's say the rule number एट We'll uh, we uh, to broadcast live matches, events, and serials. To broadcast, broadcast means to say, prasarit karna. If something is going to prasaran ho raha hai, radio pe channel ka, TV par se live. It should be live. Okay? To broadcast live, to broadcast live matches, events, and serials. I think uh, events and series will be typical for you, but you can understand the meaning of matches: India Pakistan match, India Australia match of cricket. Okay, always on live. Okay, and nobody loves to miss that with these kind of match at all. So for live matches, live matches, events, and serials, we must use only present indefinite tense. And you will definitely ask me a question to uh, raise your curious or doubt uh, about that about this point. Sir, so how is it? You will ask me. Definitely, you will ask me when we will uh, face off and we will have a formal class in our school. You will ask that how is it possible? You will ask me. Is it how is it possible that uh, someone is playing a role, okay, exactly in front of us, and we are using and we will say in conversation and will use in conversation present indefinite tense. For example, Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli is running after the ball. If he is running after the ball, then how can we say that that he runs after the ball? He runs means to say that he is running. He is running after the ball means to say that he is running. If he is running in the live match, then we should say that we should say he is running. Why we will say that? Or why would say that he runs? But we would say and we have to say only runs. It's a rule. It's a formula of present indefinite tense. For to broadcast live matches, events, and serial, we must choose. We have to use only present indefinite tense. For example, Sachin. For example, Sachin. For example, Sachin. Sachin means to say Sachin Tendulkar, the god of the cricket. You know that very well in India. Sachin runs after the ball. Sachin, who is running after the ball, is not running after the ball. He is 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 running after the ball. I have mentioned the runs, and it should proceed with the translation of ta hai te hai ti hai. But instead of, but instead of ta hai te hai ti hai, we should use raha hai rahe rahe. Maybe we have mentioned the present indefinite tense. That's the beauty, and that's the rule of grammar. Okay, Sachin runs after the ball. Sachin jo hai run ke piche bhag raha hai. Catches it is a catch कर रहा है and throws on the stumps or stumps पे फेंक रहा है and throws it and throws it on the stumps or इसे stumps पर फेंक रहा है it is uh, a, a kind of rule that uh, basically is of puzzle in nature but just forget about it just forget about it just go through with the formula or नियम of grammar the for to broadcast live matches events and serial we should you use only we must use only present indefinite and that's it if the match is going on in front of all of you just use present indefinite and that's it okay sachin runs after the ball catches it and throws it on the stump sachin jo hai ball ke beech mein bhag raha hai usse catch kar raha hai aur usse stumps ke andar fek raha hai okay maybe i'm saying the translation of present continuous which is what speaks about those action that happens at the moment of speaking That happens at the moment of speaking. जब आप बोल रहे हो, and everything is going, or at the moment of speaking, when if the match is going on live, 
but instead of moment of speaking we'll use only present indefinite tense just learn that rm or formula you have no other option the same is ask in competitive examination also okay example number first clear to all of you example number second my younger sister plays a leading role in this serial supposed to be if there is any serial which is live in front of you then you have to mention that if there is if uh, in that serial your siblings or your loved one is playing a role then you should say my younger sister plays a leading role in this serial meri younger sister jo hai is uh, serial mein leading role play kar rahi hai agrani bhumika nibha rahi hai she is playing a leading role exactly okay she is playing don't say she is playing she plays a leading role in this exact in this serial because for live matches events in serial you have to use you should use only present and affirmative tense plays she plays a role of lord she cannot we cannot call lord rama we should use he here he plays a role of lord ram in this event where is event mein is karyakram mein is natak mein is uh, play mein he plays a role of lord ram in this serial where lord ram ki jo hai bhumika nibha raha hai the translation will be raha hai rahi hai but the verb will be of your only present indefinite tense so students we have spoken about i have mentioned to all of you rule number 6 7 8 okay the last one of present indefinite tense okay the most prominent one okay of present indefinite tense rule number 6 is in explanatory sentence sentence that starts with here and there Rule number seven: To make the past event live, to broadcast live matches events in serial, we we'll use only present indefinite tense. So let's say after this, your next one it is present continuous tense. So students, let's say we are uh, tense number two in present tense, present continuous tense, present continuous tense. but uh, before uh, i'm going to start before i start this tense i would like to say to all of you that you should write you must write these these uh, notes of your uh, video classes in your fair notebook okay you need to write your uh, all the classes notes uh, in a fair notebook the same will be checked by the management and their call to your parents after some moments of time is it clear just write down the uh, notes that i'm giving you on playboard in your video classes and mention the same in a fair notebook the same would or will be checked by the management or by me there is no problem about it okay just mention in notes uh, as per the chapter as per the dates of video classes and uh, the same will be checked by the management uh, or as per the uh, time table okay for as far as the matter of your uh, examples are concerned you can go through with any grammar book of your it is maybe of your syllabus one or you can buy another uh, the, the basic book of for the grammar uh, okay you can have it from market easily there is no problem so let's say we are say a present tense present continuous tense identity yahan par hamare paas se raha hai rahi hai rahe uh, in translation we'll find the last word of uh, the present continuous tense raha hai rahi hai rahe i'm writing a letter now main ab jo hai patra likh raha hu raha hu rahe hai rahe wagera identity is raha hai rahi hai rahe helping verbs are is mr helping verbs are is mr and the main verb is first form plus ing and uh, we'll use uh, is with uh, he she it with singular subject and am with i and uh, are with you with they we'll use is with he she and it and am with i and are with you we and they note don't forget that for adverbs see table number 1 the same table uh, that i actually gave to you in our last classes okay note for adverbs see table number 1 structure the examples will be based on the given structure affirmative sentence subject ismr these are basically your helping verb okay subject plus ismr plus first form plus ing plus object if the adverb is there they mention the given adverb in negative sentence just mention the not here or okay, the same will remain as affirmative one in indicative sentence just mention your or write your helping verb before your subject before your subject in interrogative sentence just mention or write down your helping verb helping verbs before your subject and uh, the first of plus ing after your subject everything will remain the same and just don't forget to put the question mark at the last of the sentence in uh, negative interrogative sentence in negative interrogative sentence just uh, have your uh, same uh, interrogative one and mention your not here the sentence will become your interrogative negative interrogative sentence and you can also mention your not before is subject in uh, short form like isn't 
amount, R int, okay, the same will remain the same, okay, the structure will remain the same of your negative interrogative, just mention your know before is subject in this form like isn't, amount or aren't and have your interrogative negative same as you have mentioned before, okay, WH word, as I told you in the last classes that don't uh, worry and don't need to just, uh, you know, uh, 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 think about your WH word sentence or, at all, just mention WH word before your interrogative and negative interrogative, your sentence will become the WH word word easily, for example, WH word, WH word, the remaining sentence or structure is, is of your interrogative and negative interrogative, interrogative and negative interrogative and you can use the not before your subject in isn't, amount and aren't, it's all about your structure of present continuous tense and after this uh, class we will have the examples of your present continuous tense. We'll have the example in the next video, next class. But I'm repeating the statement again. I'm repeating my statement again of your homework assignment. Then mention everything in your fair notebook, okay, or fairly with the help of your blue and black pen. Write the main statement or uh, questions with black pen and the answer uh, will be, should, should be in uh, blue, should be with blue pen. And uh, the same homework will be checked by me as per the order of management after some time. Thank you.